Hello everyone, this is reporting from another session brings you, well, another video. And it's been a long time since I uploaded a, a new video. And I'm surprised that so much time has passed since then. Anyway, time slips away. And any other way, uh, I had an idea for a magic system, for a game, right? Uh, in most MMO that I've played, okay, when you level up and get a fireball level one, and then you get level two, you just take the slot of the icon of level two, put it in your weak bar, and that's it. You can cast level two, and if you want to use the previous version, level one, you need to go to your quick bar and click it there, or drag it, and you need to waste two slots to use your ability. I don't like it. It was weird to me. So I decided uh, to create my own magic system where you choose if you want to use the first level or the second level by picking by yourself. Let's say you have a bar, a quick bar here, and you like press one, and now you can choose what kind of ability you want to use. And don't worry, you can still aim, okay, and then you have your target, pick the power and boom. Now, the problem with this is it's not gonna go well in every genre, in every uh, game, right? Some games are too fast for you to click and just try to find your ability and others just too slow and, you know, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, I didn't like that MMO stuff, and it was really weird that every game doing the same thing. Okay, every Skyrim, by the way, Skyrim was the only game that was like, oh yeah, you just need to hold it more to get it, to get it stronger. It was nice. That's why I like the Skyrim stuff, but never seen like something, you know. The, the moment they said Skyrim, you would be like, but hey, there is like this game that lets you do the same, that you need to hold and stuff to get power. Yeah, but sometimes like in Bioshock, you can hold it, but it seems, it feels like a chore to, to use it. You can zap them fast, as much as I recall, and you can hold it and it feels sometimes like a, like a chore, like unnecessary. So yeah, maybe there is another game out there that did it, like, that it felt like you actually make it stronger, but I don't know. And Skyrim, it's not MMO, I know that. So, yeah. So I made a demo, by the way, on this kind of system before, like a few years ago. It's on my Game Jolt, I think there is a link down below to my Game Jolt. But I'm not sure, because some were in development, I removed the the system and and I tried to create this system a work with a timed precision runner. Let's say I shoot here, it's, it's clicking a, a switch, open the door so I can open the door here and move a platform here. So I like I need to shoot one and two. That moves the platform, open the door. Works pretty fun, it was amazing, uh, but further into development I removed this system and the game felt, you know, tried to lean more uh, into the precise running, so you, need, you don't need to pick the ability, you just need to quickly click the switches and it felt less fun, so the, the demo is there, I don't think the system is there, but if you want to try the precise thingy, precise uh, platformer, oh, it's not platformer, it's like that's runner because you don't really need to jump um, as much as I recall on uh, platforms, right? It's precise runner. Not a thing, precise runner. Did I make a new genre? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I've been thinking where can I put this system uh, in the game, and then I like hmm, Castlevania, right? Uh, the old school one might be working with that, and yeah, yeah, it feels more like it, this system going on and greatly, by the way, uh, with this Castlevania playstyle. So I made a demo inspired by Castlevania, 
uh, the old one, the 1780. I don't remember. It's the very old one, very first one. Um. So yeah, I try to make it feel like a do 2D. I'll try to show you. You start off the game, you run. There are uh, enemies that will run to you, but I'm really not sure how to transfer the 2D into a 3D. Okay, like oh, do 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 do. You're getting hit. Oh, and I really like it. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure how to transfer the 2D into a 3D because uh, the 2D. Uh, uh, you you can in the two D world you you can you start here the enemy comes and you cannot strafe left and right you have you can jump or you can shoot them right so I've been thinking about narrowing the roads to something more like really narrow so you will force to run or shoot or jump and you have a small uh, strafing left and right. But then I thought maybe I will do it like Metroid as well. So you get, instead of level one, you will get to, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so instead of, I'll show you, instead of level one and two, okay, you will have, uh, here you go. You will get a, an upgrade and then you like level one, two and three. Ooh. So now I have a new ability, so maybe I will have a switch somewhere here, right? To, so that you cannot open at the start, run there, get, finish a few levels, get back and like, oh yeah, I ha that's, that's the uh, ability opens this door now, I know it, so maybe come back. But again, the original Castlevania did not have as much as I'm aware uh, it was more linear. You finished level one, you progress to level two, three, four, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so I'm feeling to lean more into this playstyle instead of running back. Uh, mostly because it's really. I'm unsure. Okay? I'm really co confused how to make those 2D gameplay to 3D. And yeah, the other Castlevanias did manage to add the... Oh yeah, you need to come back with a new tool to use that, to break that. Yes, but I find it a bit confusing for myself. How, how am I supposed to do it? Do I, the moment you pass through this door, let's say, do you get to the boss here and fight it? or And then you can progress? Or should you just finish the boss and continue to the next level? Or, you know... Level one, one, level one, two, la, 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 level one, five, fight the boss, and then continue to level two, one. You know, with sub levels. Maybe that will be more uh, interesting. And every level will have different themes, or you know, because the story right now is that you come to this, use this teleporter to come to the to the city. You greet with the ghouls, zombies that come. You know, and then you know you you progress. You get to the to the castle. That there there is a the evil lord that caused that, and you know you need to defeat them. So I'm not sure if I want my gameplay to be more a uh, linear, or should I add a bit of spice of you need to backtrack to open a few new doors. Let's say you need to go to level three, four, and then go back to level two, two. Just to open a new door to his optional boss. I don't know. Tell me what you think. I've been rambling like longer than I thought I would be. And it's only nine minutes. Amazing. Wow. Perfect. Not, not too long. So yeah, tell me what you think. Give me ideas because, well, um, any idea will help me right now. So yeah. Uh, I, I, one moment. Let me look at the notes. I want... Yeah, so yeah, I, I've been covering everything so far, and so yeah, tell me what you think. Should I make a, the player back tr an option to backtrack to make it one big world, or you know, make it sub levels with sub levels, level one, one, level one, two, level 
one three. So you know you can come from here, finish f level one, come level two, three, four, five. You know, in different on a different map, and then there will be like a, a mini boss on every sub level and a big boss that let you test your uh, knowledge of the things that you learned in this specific level. Uh, yeah. On those sub levels, uh, or should I make it like a big uh, <coughs> something? Take the sub rooms and you know. Uh, anyway, I I'm being rubbling and giving ideas. Tell me what you think. Should it be sub levels, one level sub levels, and you know linear, or should I add like a metro, a Metroid, Metrovania like? Things that you should and c or could, you know, it's not need to be necessary. Run back and call and to get to fight some optional bosses. I don't know. The idea is here. The idea is the the demo right now. By the way, it's uh, very nice. Feels very good, very good. And yet, um, I need your help, and I will need to think about it even more. Thank you for coming, thank you for watching, and of course, hopefully, I will make a, a faster video next time, and I'll see you guys next time.